Good morning, boys and girls. How are you this morning? My name is Teacher Masi, and I'm so happy to be here and to see you once again. And I told you last time when Tisha is reading her story book, or even mommy, or even daddy, if you want to enjoy it, you have to fold your hands together and make sure your ears are listening. Are we together? But before we do that, have you been sanitizing? Have you been? You know, <clears throat> I tell you all the time about the germs on our hands. And you can't see germs. So what do you do to, 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 to finish all the germs on our hands? We sanitize. And this is my sanitizer. Good job. Put it on your hands. Good. Rub your hands together in between your fingers. Make sure you put the sanitizer everywhere on your hands. Are we together? Good job. Then after that, rub until your hands are dry. And when you do that, it means the germs are gone. Good job. Also, always remember to put on a mask. See? Like that. Good job. A mask is very good at this time because if someone else is coughs, you will not get the germs on your face. How together? We have to take care of ourselves about coronavirus. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you staying safe? So always remember to put on a mask and to sanitize. Don't touch your eyes, your nose, your mouth, because the germs can pass anywhere. Are we together? Good job. So this is my mask today. And put it on later. And today, I have another story. I have another story about a man in the Bible. And I have my Bible today. This is my, my first Bible. Let me see it. You should get one like this. It has so many stories. Yeah? So many stories. All the stories that you need. Very nice. Very short. And I know if you read them, you really understand them. You can also use the big Bible. Because the big Bible, I know mommy or daddy can read for you. And the stories are still in the Bible. Are we together? Good job. This one does not have so many pictures. But if you read it well, you will understand it so well. Good. Now, today, the story of that I'm going to read today is about Daniel. Remember Daniel in the lion's den? Yes, that Daniel, that brave Daniel, that Daniel that you used to pray all the time. And remember, there's a time I told you about prayers. You remember? Prayer is the key, prayer is the key, prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and then in prayers. Prayers is the master key. Yes, if you always pray in the morning, yeah? You pray in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, then anything you ask from God, God will give you that. So always remember to pray. If it is food, pray for the food. If it is um, <clears throat> a gift, maybe my mother has got for you, say thank you to God. Always remember to say thank you. Always remember to, to pray. And God up above is always smiling and smiling and giving you what you need. Now, this man, Daniel, Daniel was a very brave man. And Daniel used to pray. Daniel used to pray. He used to pray every day. Every day. He wakes up, he would pray. At lunchtime, he would pray. At night, 
time, he would pray. He kept praying and praying. And that really used to make God so happy. And that also used to make God protect Daniel. Okay? So remember, prayer is the master key to anything that you need. To anything that you that you need. Now, this story is about, can you see it nicely? It's about Daniel and the lions. It's about Daniel and the, and the lions. And it is in the book of Daniel. It is in the book of Daniel 6, verse 1 to 28. Mommy or Daddy can read that for you. I know you will have so much fun. You can even watch cartoons about Daniel in the lion's den. Now, this man Daniel, let's see. He lived in a place called Babylon. Okay? He lived in Babylon. And in Babylon, you are not allowed to pray. You are not allowed to pray. If you are caught praying God, if you are caught praying our God, then you will be punished. You will be punished so hard. Yeah? But Daniel believed in prayers. He was that man that used to pray. I love that. He prayed and prayed every day. Nothing scared Daniel. No, nothing scared him. So Daniel would pray even when he was not allowed to pray to God. Yeah? Now, some men in Babylon, that's where Daniel also used to be, wanted to kill him. They knew he prayed only to God. Only to, to God. So they made a law that Everyone must pray to, to the healing. And you know when you pray somebody else, when you worship somebody else, God is not happy with you. God is not happy with, with you. So they wanted him to be praying the king. But now Daniel, he was a man of God. He continued praying to God. Then when Daniel disobeyed the law, because he refused. He said, no, no, no. I have to pray to God, the God that I know. He refused to obey the law of praying who? The king. I mean, together. The men decided to throw him into the lions. Dead. Oh, no. And you know lions are so dangerous. If they see you, they will tear you up. Okay, so a lion is not an animal to play with. It can really, really attack you, okay, and eat you up. So be careful, be careful at, at even in the zoo, when you see a lion, they are very, very dangerous. Are we together? Now, Alexi, God went after, after Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. Here. Let's see. Here is Daniel. Can you see Daniel? Can you see him clearly? Yes. Yeah, he is in the lion's den. And remember, lions are so dangerous. But Daniel, since he used to, to pray, he was a man who God used to pray to God. When he was thrown in the lion's den, that's what happened. God so that when he was up above, God sent an angel to stop the lions from hurting Daniel. Can you imagine? God sent an angel to stop the lions from hurting Daniel. Oh, that was so amazing, right? Yes, God saw from up above and God sent Daniel. Very good because Daniel worshipped him. And God was happy with how Daniel 
was so strong, was so brave to not pray to the king, but he prayed to God up above. That's what I'm telling you. When you pray, pray to only God up above, and God will be really happy. So the angels came and they stopped the lions. You see? Look at this. This is Daniel, and these are the lions. And do you know what? They are just calm, very calm and quiet. Calm and, and quiet. And you know what? Daniel is still praying, even in the lion's den. He's still telling God something. God, I still believe in you. I still trust in you. You know, that is amazing. That is something so amazing to know that God is always with us to help us when we need him. But that can only happen if you pray to God. And that's what Daniel used to do. He used to pray to God. He trusted in God. Even when he was told to pray to the king, no, he still prayed to God. I'm, 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 I'm glad that you guys are listening and I hope you're learning. So every time you need something, be like Daniel. Pray for it. Thank God for it. Be happy for it. You know, and I'm telling you, God will be so happy. God will be so, God will be so happy that you prayed to him and you did what God wanted you to do. So, please remember, remember, Kala, listen to the story, follow the story. You can also read the story from the Bible. Are we together? And do you know, when Daniel did that, even the king, even the king of Babylon, saying, I want to pray to the God of Daniel. This God, this God that made Daniel not to be eaten by the lions, that is the God that I, that I want. Amazing. And you see, even on the book, look at Daniel, so brave. He's just telling the lions it's okay. Can you see that? Very brave. Yeah. Now, I have some work for you. Look here. We have Daniel in the lion's den. Can you see that? And he's still praying. This man of God is still praying, which is so amazing and wonderful. He's still praying. And the animals, what are the animals, the, the lions do, doing? What are they doing? They're just lying down and looking at Daniel. Because God is there with Daniel. So it's always good to pray, okay? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started in prayers and then in prayers. Prayers is the master key. Always remember to pray and God will be so happy with you. And now that is the end of our lesson. Enjoy yourselves and remember to read the Bible. Okay? Good job. Bye.